Bonsoir, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Hello everyone, welcome to session 22 of Throwing It Up Sands. How is everyone doing? How is my audio? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Is the music too loud? I'm going to turn the music down just by a tidge, and then we're going to just do, keep going. But hello everyone. Hello Dan, thank you so much for the um, the sub. You are a star. Thank you for supporting the stream for 12 months. Also, I'm happy. Thank you for uh, thank you for the follow. And I'm thank you for joining us. Where I'm just uh, going to recap the session before we go into things. Uh, we're going to blitz through. I say blitz through chat. Yeah, no, there's not that many people in chat right now, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Which isn't a problem. If you're lurking or watching the VOD or just hanging out, thanks for being here. I appreciate you. <laughs> Sorry, I have had some tech issues uh, just now, and like we've uh, we've, we've sorted out, but it's all fine. And we've also uh, today's gonna be a shorter session than normal. Uh, daylight saving times is a uh, is a menace. Have I seen the Markiplier series on YouTube or the uh, Black Mirror? But I've watched Black Mirror. I haven't seen um, Bandersnatch though, or I assume Anas Unas is the Markiplier series. Uh, who knows? Um, but yeah, to those that are new here, uh, we're playing D and D, so we're not gonna be. There's not. I'm not gonna be focusing much on chat, but we might every now and then partake and interact with you guys. There is channel point redemptions that you guys can do for layer actions and supporting the characters on uh, during the session. Um, hello, Jacob. Hello, Frankie. Hello, Georgia. Hello, Sam. East, and yeah, hello everyone. Um, yeah, I'm going to quickly just recap the session before we go straight into things. Once I find my recap. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, this session, we're going to find out uh, what happens uh, uh, for the aftermath uh, of, uh, of the party and Lo Nico after she has gone through her trial by fire. Uh, last session... Um, while they were fighting Lo Nico in a possessed state um, as she was wreathed in fire and in this um, ascended kitsune form. Um, Lo Nico uh, felt her body fall through the material plane, uh, crossing through the world weave into a waiting room uh, for the fallen that had died um, at Kasakawa, specifically um, at the Kasakawa prison factory uh, that was part of Jailhouse Rocky. Um, Tasked with the goal of guiding uh, a set of spirits across the Lush and Sora, uh, Lo Nico, with the help of Kano and Moran, and her spirit companion Yuki, they um, travelled down the Lush and Sora, uh, specifically the Lush and uh, Shigoa, uh, towards the Haroma Gate, which is the final gate, battling a bunch of yokai and the Lush and Sora itself, the uh, eight-headed dragon that holds the sky up. When they reached the final gate, um, they said their final goodbyes uh, with the uh, the three, uh, Kano, Moran, and Taya, uh, gifting um, some objects to uh, Rocky and Randall um, to, as, they, uh, as they said their goodbyes and made their way into Otherworld. And we uh, ended that session with a flash of white, and that's where we're going we're gonna to jump in. Yeah, I'm gonna just quickly make sure uh, the group are ready. Or we're gonna play the intro, uh, and then we're gonna jump straight into the session. So I shall see you guys in a hot sec.
Bonsoir. Hello, everyone. <laughs> howdy. Oh, howdy. Howdy. Sam, say hello. <laughs> howdy. I said, oh, hi, Sam, hi. I said Sam. Uh, Sam oh, didn't say I just... hello. <laughs> said hello. <laughs> I didn't hear you say hello. Sorry, I, said hello I said hello there in my pirate voice. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, all right. I... My, my mistake. I'm gonna just oh, maybe quickly. I'm stupid. Oh, wait, no, never mind. But maybe. We know you're stupid. That's the case. <laughs> Let me just change the music and then I'm going to pull a stray in. As straight as we can be. <laughs> as straight as we can be with everyone in this group. In this group. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to move us over to the uh this map ah! oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> you know, pull us back and no, you're not talking about man you're down i was how can i have no music no music wasn't playing all right let me just get I'll the sounds going thank you ah! <laughs> Away to the danger oh, zone. I don't want to get good enough to do that. No, Sam, you don't understand uh, that. I get called for like my own stuff that's on my my uh, license. No, you don't. I do. Oh, it's I happened mean, three times. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. Does, for that, yeah. but you don't get caught for me singing a little bit of highway. You never know, Sam. You never know. I mean, just but yeah, the all right. So. Uh, as gonna ride it. <laughs> um. At the end of your encounter, Rocky, Lofi Boy, and Randall, uh, Lofi Boy, you crash to the ground, being knocked unconscious while fighting the Kappa, thinking you might have had a bit more energy than you expected. Satoshi is panicking, uh, cornered by um, the what's the world, the Kappa and the Shabatan, as Rocky uh, Randall's been pushed back and is held by the Juro, uh, Juro uh, Spidey Yokai. As Rocky, you're just slashing at the fiery veil surrounding Loniko. As suddenly a white eruption of light just bursts out of uh, the human bard. And, or human shaman there. Well, both. Um, <laughs> as <laughs> you all feel this sudden burning sensation that like just feels like it's like burning at your entire being uh, aggressively. As this fire just surges around, you can't see nothing as you're just bl in a, a flash of blinding light. But then suddenly it turns into a more gentle, caring, cozy uh, feeling. As you feel the fires um, turning into little tiny footsteps running across you. As your vision stops uh, getting um, just assaulted by this white and turning into reds and oranges and yellows. As you can see, these tiny fires, of, uh, foxes of fires, uh, s running around you, swirling around you. As you can see, as the night sky uh, becomes more clear, you can see low, just burning like a uh, everlong pyre. Uh, with her, or standing behind her, is a male presenting child that looks similar to her, but dressed in a bit more of a traditional fashion, and you notice in yellow sneakers similar to that of uh, the three um, uh, sisters, Kiko, Kira, and um, Katsumi. I'm going to put the token down. As Lo's Kitsune form just b diminishes, but the fire still lingers uh, around her, she goes back into her default tiny form. <laughs> <laughs> default um, tiny. <laughs> Teeple <laughs> and you see just this <laughs> child behind her, just almost hiding uh, from behind, uh, um, behind uh, the human. As uh, the as the yokai also then just start erupting themselves as they get consumed by the fire that's swirling still around you guys, and then just turns them into ash, and they just turn into tiny pebbles on the ground. I'm going to change the Yuki face because Yuki looks a bit apprehensive and scared of you all in this moment. Do 
just hiding behind Lo Nico. As Lo, you feel exhausted having once you um, said goodbye to the um, Moran, Taya, and uh, Kiko, you felt yourself pushed through this watery veil and see a sudden flash of white light and you see yourself just surrounded uh well not surrounded but um in the company of of, of your party as you just can see lo-fi boy we what is it what's lo-fi boy <laughs> what does he look like as he's collapsed describe it for me what's lo-fi boy I'm yeah. Doing like yeah, like. Uh, <laughs> am I still on death rolls? I can do one of those. You are not on death rolls, don't worry. You are safe for now. Okay. Um. Like. Um. And you can probably. see in like flashes as your eyes like mm. just try like recalibrate and like force restart your body. You can you see Loniko appear and like the yokai burning around you. Okay. I. I just like. Like, say, like, Loniko, I. You, you finally came back! As Satoshi goes to help lift you up and stabilize you. Thank bringing you, you onto zero hit points. And. pulling your arm over, over, his, uh, over his shoulders and helps guide you towards the group. Loniko, what? what? Are you okay? And she's just gonna run over and immediately just like heal. <laughs> Yuki rushes just as <laughs> eagerly, but also like is still trying to stay in your shadow, scared of everyone. Um, steps down the stones a little bit, but like stay, keeps his distance a little apprehensively. Loniko, do, do you remember what happened? I, 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 um, I had a glimpse, I, I'm so sorry, and she's just gonna, like, as soon as she's finished hearing my fly boy, just, like, hug him. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what happened here, but I, I, I know it had something to do with my body. It, it's okay. We, <laughs> you, you came back. We, we didn't lose you. That's what matters. Um. Just... You, 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 you almost died. I, I hurt. You. I hurt all of you. I. And she's gonna step back and just like bow incredibly deeply. Yuki, tugging at your clothes, like as you went to hug uh, Loha Boy, still like just struggling to keep uh, their balance, um, joined you in the bow as well, um, and is just as deep uh, in the bow. As you are. And then what sorry. Cool, don't do that. It's okay. You don't you don't have to apologize. Like it, look, you you you've helped sometimes I've been stupid, sometimes you were there when I was like being like I don't know, like I <sighs> You, you told me once before that, like, you know, if something's, like, me losing my memories or something like that, that you'd help me find them again, or that you'd make new ones, I... This... don't... don't <laughs> you don't have to be sorry, you're here, you're now, and you had to do what you had to do, and that's it, like... If... if you hadn't done... What you had done, I'm sure things would be in a much worse state than they're in right now. I... My... 
it's all left with I didn't really mean to go then it just it, it did and then <laughs> and she's probably just so exhausted she's probably just gonna like fall to her knees because she can't stand up <laughs> um, is she still like holding the stuff that um Moran and Kano gave her yeah like, you when you push through the veil you you didn't realize it in like the initial moment but like when you um think about him and, and recall everything that's happened and that you feel in your palms um and you 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 feel yourself carrying all those objects they initially like when you cross through um they there wasn't a, a solid form they were they felt more like the air itself but as like you guys uh, were spending a bit more time uh, spending the, these 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 quick moments they start materializing into the objects that were given to you. Sure. Well, glance down at them and then glance, especially uh, look over to Rocky and Randall and just like, I, I have a lot to tell all of you. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll, I mean, we, we gotta just get somewhere where you can you can rest a little bit. I think first, seem a little dazed. And who's your friend here? You keep oh. goes back to hiding. Right. You didn't cast a mirror image. No. Um. See, when I went to the Spirit World this time, um. Well, this is Yuki. <laughs> Hello, uh? Yuki says very nervously. As you can see, him struggling to hold their balance as they try to stand still. Oh, they they um don't quite know how to use legs yet. I'm used to falling. Uh, and she's <laughs> like she's gonna like try and stand up and support Yuki, even though she's not very steady herself at the moment. <laughs> Roll a Constitution check for me. <laughs> Oof. I can I help? Can I see her struggling and help at all? Yeah, no, yeah. Like when you see her struggling and hold balance, you are able to, like I, you won't need to roll or anything. You're able to like just um, hold on to her and keep her steady as well, and thus keeping a little chain, keeping yourself <laughs> steady. You keep do a little do a little conga line, you know, do a conga line. You keep then wig uh, lifts up his uh, their feet, sorry, and wiggles their shoes and like these these weird feet tail. They're very strange, as you see the laces just um, shake aimlessly. As like yeah, you know, they are weird. Are untied. <laughs> both feet. Yeah, I can I can teach you how to how to make those a little bit neater later if you like. Oh. Thank uh, you. To be or fair, also could try try Velcro if you want. Um, what's Velcro? Uh, something in Ron's lock. Don't worry about it. Oh, I don't know if it's here. <laughs> uh, I will say you might have seen a few Velcro sneakers. <laughs> I think um, some one of the, like Kiko wears Velcro sneakers. Okay, yeah, we'll get you some Velcro sneakers. Uh, <laughs> good. Have a little. They'll have a. Little, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say, but uh, we'll get you some. As like, they like just not in appreciation. You see them kind of go back to hide behind Lonico, and when they appear from the other side they shift back into their kitsune form but instead of being green and uh purple they are a yellow and uh red this time although the token is pink don't so so wear wearing the shoes don't no no not wearing the shoes anymore. <laughs> do we <laughs> well, see uh, them yeah you, you you see you see you see yuki this time and yuki's all three eyes blink i i, I, okay. I look up at you I guess I won't be uh, tying and getting your Velcro shoes. Maybe four of them now. I'm not really sure. I, I don't wear shoes uh, when I'm in this form. But should uh, so, where do they go? Where where do your like shoes and stuff go then? Like, well, if you must know, pulling out their monocle, they go in my tail. You you have a monocle but no shoes. Yes, that's really uh, you 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 shouldn't. That's none of your business, sir. 
Yuki gets it right up in your face or tries to get in your face, but they're not very tall. They are. They come up to your knees. I crouch down like when you talk to a dog. Hey, don't Who's speak to me so con- No, stop. No, I'm a good boy, but stop it. Who's a good boy? No. You, you, you go sad? You go don't sad? Speak. Look, no, Nico, tell him stop. As I, as, as I run away. I'm oh, sorry, Yuki runs away. You wanna play? You wanna play? Alright, boy, let's go play. I'll I'm bite you in your sleep. <laughs> the dramatic dog you got there. Ain't a dog, my fox. <laughs> what do you like say? You. Shut up. This is what I say. <laughs> alright, alright, fine. But we'll play I thought Lo-Fi Boy would be my problem, but no, it's you. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> As I turn Nico, to you. And, well, Yuki, don't. Was it? Because remember when we were fighting um, just on top of the, the airship? Wasn't Yuki a, a different color then? Huh. As Yuki looks at the, the body. Your fire has changed color, Yuki. Hmm. Evolved. Does that mean anything? You can... Roll perception or insight if you want to try and like see if you can if you can try and like make it connect any dots of your own. Um, Certain poisonous chemicals can make fire green, so I'm thinking maybe your poison. That's the the, the reasonable uh, conclusion that I have come to. I disagree. can I roll anything? <laughs> you, you can. I will give you advantage. Well, what is it? Perception or insight? Uh, perception or insight. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. you can't really like gauge much through the insight or the perception, but you do like notice that the red specifically is very similar to the red on Lo Nico's uh, dress or her, um, her her outfit, and like the uh, the red paint that is like uh, on her chamisen and her spider lilies. Either. Becoming one. Well, we are. We are. We are bonded beyond blood. She is my Kai, and Yuki stands very proudly on all fours, as their tails so like... burst into a brighter color and grow in size for that fleeing moment. So does that make you like color bonded? That's such a s- silly question to ask. What does that mean, <laughs> Yugi asks? What does color blinded mean? No, not color blinded, color bonded. No, color bonded, what does that mean? What you, yeah. You... I don't know, what does it mean? You tell me, you're, you're... the one changing colors. Lo Nico, why do you hang oh, on this Loni... fool? <laughs> He's asking me stupid questions. Change... Look. Um, maybe... Where would you like me to look? I... I don't know, you have three eyes. You can look wherever you want. Well, yes, but I only can look in one place. It, the three eyes all have one specific sight. Plus the third have eye doesn't ever, really work. Have you ever chased your tail? Just curious. Yes, but that's none of your business. Right. Well, you answered my question and then you said none of my business. So I just said, <laughs> I don't know. You, Ooh, you just see him just shaking in fury. Oh, are you angry? It's okay. Ooh. Come here, boy. When you, you make sl- a blankie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite you so hard on the ankle. Oh, maybe, maybe we should, we As should. He jumps uh, onto uh, Lo's shoulder. We should go um, oh. like a parrot. somewhere else. To our ship. Are we- there any yokai left? <laughs> uh, you around? don't see any on the beach around you. Um, and like when you ask that, you it feels very still and calm. Com- compared to like the just the way like the world had felt m- in moments ago where like it was storming the the waves were coming in and everything just was very unsettling but you do as like you take in searching for yokai you get this wind blow in from the west uh from the forest uh you c- can hear the faintest of voices on um 
on the wind. Old Otani sees uh, you. Can... Sorry, man. Oh. No, no, I was just gonna, we're gonna ask perception to see if I can you hear know, what they're yeah. saying. But you, 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 it's <laughs> like the faintest whispers, but you hear it inside your ear, um, very plainly. Um, but then Satoshi then just um, sh- shivers. And, oh, we could we could quickly hop in the the, the airship and maybe just rest. Mm, it, it, we aren't. We're looking like we're a bit low on fuel, though, so I don't think we'll be able to fly anywhere. Oh, wait, hmm? the, the 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 energy thing down below is mm-hmm. it's with fuel. Yeah, it's it uses. Um, I mean, we use a Shiseki Stone Core, but it does sometimes just need charge, and it's run out. Oh, not um, run out, but like it's on a, ver- a very low charge at the moment. I see. It probably will last like for maybe another three hours. Luckily, like we were, we were very lucky to. To uh, I I thought we had more fuel when uh, when we made the flight, so we're we're pretty we're pretty lucky, I'd say. Come. Quickly. Are there any remnants of the uh of the like the picnic setup that we had here? No, you. I believe you guys packed it uh, before any of the uh, the encounter happened. And I'm going to change the music actually because it's getting a lot in- more intense than I initially wanted it to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me yeah. just. I think so until she has it. We were about to leave, and then Loniko turned around saying. The thing. So, if Satoshi has ritual. it, then yeah, you you know you do know it's under inside his jacket. Uh, inside their jacket is a very soggy pink a picnic blanket. We should uh, come. Let's go. Let's go. I think as they make the, uh, as they guide oh. you to. Sorry, go on. What about these things they're holding on to, little Nico? Where did you get that? Oh. Uh. This, and she's again going to look at Okinawa's uh, I think we should go somewhere more comfortable. Uh, okay. Let's go, let's go rest on the ship, and she's going to kind of half hurriedly walk towards the ship, like with her head down. <laughs> Lo, uh, I mean, uh, Yuki uh, leads you, um, constantly just searching around, um, scanning, like almost like you're like walking your dog. Um, and they're just like very alert. Um, and as you get to the the red Laco, you see uh, Sam. Your your head's shifted, by the way. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, I had to. No worries. When you um, head to the red Laco, uh, Lo, you notice there is a veil over its entire like um, over the the entire ship that looks like a giant bird. Um, that is like a red like. Almost like a, um, like, like a sheet of glass over the ship, um, of this giant red bird that like moves and shifts as it's like it's just its feathers are where the uh, the propellers and the four towers are, or where like and uh, the three and the damage tower are, as its neck is uh, right at the front, and you can see it's like its legs that take uh, over the the me- me- the mechanical legs of the uh, the airship, and it just looks and follows you. As I'm gonna, have I moved you guys over? I have. As you guys make your way on top of the uh, onto the the ship. I think probably the the room below would be the most comfortable place to just catch our prey. Mm-hmm. You want my uh, Randall? Into, yeah, Randall go. just is like following behind, like. He, he, again, saying it like a cautionary distance, a little bit like f- feeling a little bit like uneased after the whole encounter. Still, mm-hmm. where am I? Okay, there, yeah. there you are. I think Lofa was the only one missing. I'm already oh, there, here. there he is. Oh. <laughs> is Rocky missing? I think Rocky's missing. Sorry, my mistake. That's fine. No, he doesn't need to be here. It's okay. Jacob. No, that's all right. I guess I'd walk to next to the, the, the flower pot and just sit next to it to kind of like vibe with the flower and like, you know, touch the earth. <laughs> it 
it's like touching grass. Uh, yeah, but like, yeah. Yeah, it's a um, it's just a tiny little like um, bonsai cutling that like has been pruned and kept. The leaves of it are a bit. Uh, there's like pink flowers uh, growing in the in the green. Um, there isn't really like I don't think it's it's like the soil is underneath. This is more like it's like um, like moss and like pebbling on the top layer. Is there any specific you want to, like like are you trying to communicate with it or are you just wanting to tend it? Oh no no no! I'm just kind of like the same way that a plant feels happy in the earth. I'm just putting my hand in like. Because I imagine some of my flowers got like damaged through the fight. I'm like trying to uh, like take some nutrients from the soil mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, no, you are like siphoning from it. But like not, not in a competitive No, 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 way. yeah, no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like I know, I know. Like, you're not like. <laughs> okay, okay. You aren't. But you are like able cool, to like cool. pull some energy out of it. Yeah, yeah. As, exactly. as you guys enter the comfy, um, and cozy. Uh, common room of the Red Lake Hall. Yuki hops onto the sofas and starts like just relining all the pillows, trying to make a little like, like a like a bean bag for you, low. And then he's like beckoning <laughs> you to like just uh, to like uh, to get the. As Satoshi walks over to the radio and then just turns it on to a, um, onto a little soft jazz uh, um, station that every now and then crackles in and out. Um, as you can hear strange jittering and glitching coming from the radio and then as Satoshi is just struggling to get like the station to work just decides to turn it off completely. Yeah, Lose. yeah she's gonna like hold the, the things in her arms and she's gonna look at Rocky and, and Randall. Um, she's like, uh, Miss, uh, Rocky, uh, Mr. Randall. Um, I'm not quite sure the best way to put this, but uh, my spirit was summoned to to the other world to help guide uh, some of the spirits of those who died in yeah. the explosion um, of, of Kasakar Prison, and I, well, I met some friends of yours. Yeah? I, I know it's, it's probably hard to, to believe, but um, I met Miss Moran and Mr. Kano, um, and they gave me some things to give to you. Uh, oh. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I really don't. I don't really understand the whole like, spirit world stuff. It's not really my 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 my, my forte, but g give stuff to us. I guess from yes. beyond the veil, it must be quite important. <laughs> well, I'm glad that it it works. Um, uh, Ran Mr. Randall, um, Moran wanted to give you this, and she's gonna hand. Uh, Randall the Harry um, that Randall Rand Randall like accept like accepts it and just nods at Lonico. Thank thank you. I I will put this to good use. She said so she could always be with you. And Mr. Rocky, she wanted uh, you to have this, and it's the ribbon. From her hair. Oh, I uh, I think I grab it. I'm not sure what Rocky will do with it yet, but you'll find a place to put it. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, are they? Are they? Are they okay? What's what? What's what? Did you? Are they guided? I, I'm sorry. I still I don't really understand everything about this. But like, are they? Are, yes. What, what, where are they? What are what are they doing now? I guess the the spirits. I guided them to the end of the Russian sword, to the end of the river, and they went through the last gate together, and they are at peace, and they seem happy. 
That's good. That's good. Uh, is Kano uh, got his uh, golden glove still, or? Well, he did when I first met him, but he asked if I could do something, and apparently I could, and then he had hands again. Um, actually, nice. uh, and she's going to hold out the two golden suns. Uh, she, uh, this is what he gave me for both of you. What are, What is this? Sorry. The circle. Uh, no, you can describe them because I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. They're two little, um, like, pins, brooches of uh, golden suns that, like, have the uh, ancient marking for the word lucky um, sc- scri- um, embossed into um, into the center of, of the suns. Could you- embossed in the middle? In yeah, the middle, yeah. Could both of you roll... Is it? Um, it's like a lucky sun brooch. The lucky okay, symbol okay. for in ancient Sheehan uh, is okay. in Boston okay. Center. Could you both roll me a history check? Oh, you know how smart I am. To see if, like, <laughs> if you, if you, just to see if you remember uh, specifically what the symbol like means. Um, gotcha, gotcha, good gotcha. Because Kane and I have mentioned it at one point. Okay. <laughs> Randall. Why would you not be able to recall something? Would you in this moment? Do you have? How would you? How would you be feeling like having been given the gifts by uh, Moran and Akena right now? I I accept it. Like I, again, I take it in my hand and nod, but I just look at it and like, what? What is this? What possibly could this mean? <laughs> Rocky, however, you rec- recall the symbol looking very similar to a neck tattoo on a certain feral Janasi that uh, you met in uh, in the prison that had helped you and Kana. The the tattoo of um, uh, the, the man in the prison. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on his name. No, it's okay. It's the uh, Hasume family uh, symbol, uh, their emblem. Um and like members of uh, that uh, um, that gang would have this marked on them, and this is their um, icon. And you guys, Kano's gifted you his his marks. The, the huh? That's that's uh, the like symbol of, from from a family. I will wear it with honor. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I put it. I don't know where he's gonna put it yet. I guess it's just on his chest, on his shirt. Mm-hmm. Is it brooch? That's what a brooch yeah, does, right? Brooch, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually some gifts from one more person, but I I didn't get their name, and I didn't really meet them. They only appeared briefly before me, but she, they gave me uh, these, and she's going to produce the two arrowheads and Taya's mask, and just hold them out in front of her. Um, They said to tell you that she's sorry. Upon hearing that, Randall, like, looks away with a scowl kind of on his face in in some anger, but it's hard. Uh, I, I mean... You take it, Rocky. The mask? The, uh, okay, uh, Rocky will, is going to put the, the mask, like, I guess, in his bag or something, when, and then... When you hmm? go to take the mask... You, 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 you t- assume it's gonna come off as one whole piece, but it's split okay. down the middle, and you only take one side. Okay, I'm gonna give the other. I'm gonna grab the other side and give it hand it to Randall. I think, I think it's a good memory to have, Randall. R- Randall reluctantly grabs it and. Adds it to his kind of pile of goodies that he's gotten. 
get from the, one of the arrowheads. I, I'm going to grab the arrowheads and grab them, bring them over to Randall. And, and I don't know. I think I don't know if he's pacing or if he's just like over in the corner. Or what he's doing, but I'm going to try to give it to one. I'm like, I'm going to like put it in his hand. I'm going to hold his hands like for a second, like in between mine. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like. It's it's a hard memory. But hard memories build good fortune we gotta remember that satoshi nuts um, if that's, that's, that's if that's true then i <laughs> should have the greatest fortune of all <sighs> all right uh i wanna yeah i put that i put all that i put that in the my bag like the the arrowhead and the Actually, I put the arrowhead in one of my pockets. I'm going to put the half the mask in my bag. And then I want to change out the ribbon that's holding my bun yeah. uh, to the ribbon that was given to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and can I want to go talk to Randall and say, like, hey, Randall. Um, you know, like, there was a time earlier today you said like you felt like you were cursed or something, but that you know, still stands, I think. Well, I'm here still standing because of you. If if you hadn't been there to help, I, I don't know if you would have been able to last long enough. Or to come back. But if I hadn't have done what I had done at Kasakawa, then Loniko might not have had to go through what she did there. And she might not have almost destroyed you. If I had been able to protect the family I used to have, we wouldn't be in Kasakawa here in the first place, maybe even. There are things sometimes we, we can't predict the outcome that they'll have. Just don't be so hard on yourself. Thank you, Lo-Fi Boy. I too have a great fortune, you know? Randall? Should, should I roll stealth against yeah, that? Please, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just seeing that all happening in the background, I'm like, I'm like, mm, okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to be especially quiet, nor <laughs> I am. I, I absolutely am. <laughs> yeah, like I'm you. Just gonna stay and play my shamisen. <laughs> yeah, you you can't hear much as you just see uh, Satoshi. Uh, as you can hear them fussing. With a lot of like the um, the pillows and stuff, and then just um, just gives you a comforting smile, and then um, says good night to you guys uh, as they like just go into the kitchen. Um, you can't hear any of what Randall said, but you do because Lo-Fi Boy isn't, as he said, isn't trying to be speci- uh, specifically quiet. I'm muttering my words yeah. pretty much like under my breath. You can hear the uh, the wa- the forge, uh, but you cannot hear the the dragon. As you guys hear Lo play her shamisen in the background softly. Randall uh, tur- no? turns and smiles, uh, hearing the music being played. I uh, I hope that the, the fortune for us changes, but right now I still have worries, Lo-Fi Boy. And I may for a time. your help today you know if there's anything i can do to help you in return just let me know is there anything else I, you got oh, oh sorry, go on. <laughs> yeah no. I, and i just kind of like trail off like mm-hmm. uh walking towards satoshi oh S- satoshi you hear them just mutter through like the um Where are they? through the furnace yeah, sorry. What was that? As you hear them just distantly in the kitchen working away. 
When when Lo-Fi Boy is far enough away, like Randall pretty much just says, "Same to you, my friend. Same to you." Do I hear it, or are you being sneaky? No, no, I I, I, I specifically <laughs> did that when for when you walk away and couldn't hear. You. If you would like, I can roll stealth again. I, you, I, I you won't, you won't need to. So with a twenty-four, I think oh, I'm gonna let you keep okay, it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Unless you want to try and beat it, you can roll perception, Lo-Fi Boy. Yeah, okay, I, I do. <laughs> 20, let's see it. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> do I have any advantage? Nope. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> you have disadvantage for asking. <laughs> oh! oh no. One off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. You hear the faintest of whisperings from Randall. Mm -hmm. And you, like, think you hear what you heard, but you're not 100% sure. Yeah. Subconsciously, though, I know. <laughs> <laughs> As you see Satoshi just... Knowledge. Um, Satoshi just, like, putting away some of the stuff from the picnic and... Um, and just cleaning up the kitchen. Mm-hmm. You called Lofa? Uh, yeah. I... <laughs> this is the second time in a row that... I'm about to... Um... The first time I fell... Unconscious... The other time, I was kind of like <laughs> falling. Also, it just thanks. Thanks for looking out for me. I'm um, I'm here to serve. Um, it's the least I could do for you. Plus, you guys have helped save me in in a uh, really weird roundabout way. How so? I mean, we were all fighting for our lives just then, I think. If you didn't help with finding the Tengu when we were flying over, I don't think we, we would have we would have made it. And I don't think when all those yokai appeared on the beach, I don't think we, we could have could have survived as long as we did without each other. That's we, a good point. We, we always... Uh, it's not so bad to have someone around to, to help. Yeah, that's. I, I guess it. It's a neat way to to see it. You're right. I think we all needed each other. So, but yeah, cool. Um, well, um, then be seeing you around. Yeah. Um, no, you, you have you have a good sleep. If you, I don't. I'm not sure if you sleep. Um, I, I, I actually don't. If, cause. If you want to use the bedroom that you, you that I have, but I don't sleep, so you could. I'll take it. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. Um. We should rest. It's been. It's been a long flight, and a long fight. Okay. I'll go do that. Mm -hmm. Um, bye. As you, I, as you go back in there, <laughs> they fall over. I mean, uh, oh, oh, well, this uh, is really, this is this is kind of awkward, but no, it's it's. Uh, uh, you you go through that door. I'll go through this one, and okay, and we'll meet up in the in the room. Okay. Oh, it's it's <laughs> funny meeting you, Lo-Fi Boy. I thought I, you were. Oh. Yeah, um, you, should I have waited? What is this Will and Grace situation here? Like, what <laughs> no, 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 you, you can come in low-fi, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, sorry. As uh, Satoshi walks in, uh, I'm gonna be turning off the power uh, soon. Um, so, lights out. Um, if you want, I can take you to your rooms and show you where you sleep. If there's And if there's anything you guys want for breakfast, I, I can have that ready in the morning. Um, we'll probably be having to go on foot for the next portion of the journey. Um, I don't think we'll have enough power to to fly where we need to go, where we want to go. That's just great. How do we get more power? It it just needs to recharge. It'll, each I mean, uh, this this just like one specifically just needs to be just left for a for a day. Sometimes we can we can we can add some extra power by just giving it a bit more lightning magic, but it does. It is quite greedy. I, 
I well? need to spend some time here in, in Kasakawa um, with the, the f family things. Just oh. my my <laughs> my only lead is having been made here, and if I don't even know if they're still alive, but there's a person I I just have I I have to talk to them. That's it. You, you want company with it, or, or is it something you would rather do alone, Lofi? Well, <laughs> with my luck, I'd, I'd like the company. All right. Then I guess we all have someone to talk to, huh, huh, gang? <laughs> I guess so. Still, she just smells That's like right. wool. And then goes to leave the room again. If you... Hey, oh, <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything you guys want... <laughs> Yatoshi. <laughs> is, is it, if there's anything you guys want to do um, before you take your long rest or during your long rest, um, you can. I know there's like you guys have gotten some items to attune, so we can also uh, do that. Um, so if I believe only it's you, Lo, and uh, Lo-Fi, if you, I'm just gonna check if your Kamainu statues were tuned because I can't remember how I did that. But there is the banana leaf fan. And I go outside and find a rock and attune it to myself. <laughs> you got your, oh, Rocky! Holding Rocky! up. To, oh, no. <laughs> I actually have this for you. Um, oh, what? <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, when we the first mission that we completed to get our adventurous license which uh, w w which i also have on me wait um oh, I, this is like my birthday or something uh, and, <laughs> which i don't uh, know what that is to be honest with you. So, <laughs> we do actually have it noe dan it's on your i think oh because <laughs> i i had us all roll like for our birth or had you guys all roll for your birthdays so yeah continue sorry i'll i'll let you know oh no so we don't know your, your, your license yeah. Yeah, but um, like Christmas or not Christmas. And I don't know what holidays you, you <laughs> have in Rock Sock, but they sound kind of cool. Um, and then uh, I also have this rock. Um, it's not random at all. It was the the first quest that we completed. That like um, the rock was there, and well, if you ever need proof to say you're there, you can always show this rock. Because you weren't there, but you were there with us and our thoughts and yeah. as a group. We we still did it, and so yeah, uh, it's it's just a rock. Not just a rock, it's a boulder. I mean, anyway, it's kind of small. <laughs> <That> was... Gosh. <laughs> Sorry, just thinking about to something a friend said to me a while back. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, thank you for for the rock. I gotta find a name for it. Uh, I, I'll think I'll think on it. Uh, oh, all right. L and my uh, yeah, my my license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if we ever take um, any quests from the Adventures League, and also uh, just from the top of my head, I'm remembering that like there's also like discounts in certain areas, at least in Ace of City. I'm not sure elsewhere, but mm. the and, and we've already covered the fee. You might actually owe Loniko some money. Uh, <laughs> I'll be in bed. Loniko, I'll try to Loniko. Loniko. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't think um, I, I don't think I paid paid for that. Um, I think Miss Primera did. Oh, oh did she? She's living with a I'm, wealthy bloke now, so I think she'll be fine without what I owe her. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> if uh, you know, uh, next time, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get her next. Time. I, I, I swear, <laughs> I'll buy her next license that she needs, and that'll be. <laughs> <anything>. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, that's it. Um... Yeah. Um, if you guys want to, then uh, if you guys hit the long rest button on your character sheets, <laughs> and roll. <laughs> Sorry, go on, uh, Jacob. 
there's one thing I want to do. Do I have like a specific quarters here? Yeah, or... uh, so, Satoshi would have like uh, shown you if you wanted to know. Um, I do want to go to my quarters. Yours would be. This is something I want to do. This isn't that suspicious? Like I, I sound suspicious at it, but like I, I promise I ain't trying to. Be Yours suspicious. would be. Well, you get to pick. There's either the room with green pillows, blue pillows, and black pillows. The room with the red pillows is the broken tower, and Satoshi's taken that one. Yeah, wait, wait, does not do do Lonico and Lofi Boy not have room? No, uh, Lofi Boy is the only one that didn't want a room. So Lonico and okay. uh, Randall and you would have a room, and Satoshi would have a room, but Lofi Boy doesn't like get one because he doesn't want one. Okay, um, I want a room. Um, I'll give. I'll leave. I won't take the room with the black pillows. I guess I'll take the room with the the. Uh, Hey, do y'all have a preference on the color pillows you got in your room? Um, just curious. You know, I like, I like, I like darker colored things. You're gonna have black <laughs> pillows. Uh, uh, do you like green or blue more, Lo, Lo Nico? Uh, oh, uh, and she's just gonna look down at you, keep because <laughs> green, <laughs> green. Okay, happily. I'll do blue. Uh, matches my skin tone a little bit. Um, uh, I want to head to that room. How do I? Can I move my guy easier? Frick, I don't know how to move him. You mean just like drag you over to your room? Oh my goodness. I just, I just, your character just like <laughs> went back. Oh. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah, like Yuki would, uh, um, when Yuki would jump on your shoulders uh, when you go to climb the ladder uh, low. And could I get you you to roll me two Arcana checks? The first will be for the Kamainu, the second will be for the, um, the fan. Uh, Lofi, could you roll me one Arcana for your Kamainu? Yeah. Are our oh. little Kamainus like playing together or something during that time? No, they're stone little. They're, they're, they're in solid stone uh, statue uh, form. Gotcha. I assume you. Because I think you may have dropped it on the beach, but you guys would have picked it up. Uh, yeah, 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 no, for sure. <laughs> I had uh, already picked up. Yeah, yeah. Even. With, yeah. with your 14 and your 18, so you guys. When you were sleeping, you would like be, uh, or not when you sleep, but like when you're like getting yourselves ready for bed, you would have given yourself like a few minutes to try and um, just resonate with the object. And like, you're not sure how like you'd go about it, but like by just holding it, you feel a bond forming, and every second feels like a connection is being uh, strengthened. With your both your combined statues, you feel. Not a hundred percent fully with it. It's like almost like when like you've just got a new dog and like it like it you love it and it loves you, but like there is still like just that like level of like training that like it hasn't um or like that like uh companionship that it hasn't achieved just yet. But it is on its way there. So you I would say with that attunement you guys are I'm gonna give you guys your um you will know the full criteria. Cause the way I do attunement is instead of like um Instead of like connecting to the object through like uh, long rest, you have to go off a checklist. Um, you guys, I'm gonna send you guys what your um, what the achievements are for the Kamainu. Uh, I haven't fully um, written him out yet, but like you have, uh -huh. I will I will make that and make a note of that. And same with the leaf uh, with the leaf fan, you feel even a much quicker connection. Becoming a shaman and becoming a lot more um, in tune with this uh, nature spirit, you feel this is a strong artifact of the wind and uh lonica and you feel like just the it contains a storm within its um within the fibers of uh, of the leaf and you um you you will know uh, the complete checklist for the leaf fan when i when i have that okay yeah uh, you guys can get a long rest if you want to hit that uh, long rest button but can I finish the thing I want to do? Hey, yeah, going yes, uh, sorry. Uh, I, all I wanted to do was just hang the the half the mask uh, in my room, mm. uh, and then I will put the the flint on like the dresser, I guess, or like on one of the drawers. Yeah. Uh, and or the arrowhead, sorry. Um, and then the uh, uh, not a then I, I then I'm wearing the ribbon and the uh the brooch. So yeah, that was it. That's all I want to do. Do a long rest. Oh, let's remind them of ourself. But yeah, if you guys want to hit long rest, we're gonna. The night itself is fairly uneventful. The it's a 
surprised. It's a very peaceful sleep. You guys are like are exhausted from all the events that you guys have like experienced uh, today, um, and you like it's almost it's a, a dreamless sleep when um, when you're when when you just essentially crash onto your beds. Um, except for actually no, I lie. You all have a very similar dream of just ravens flying over um, a forest as you can just constantly hear those words Otani is seeking an audience with you just constantly uh, playing in your minds as um, as you just see these ravens swirl around you in your in your dreams um, but other than that like you 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 uh, when th that dream would come every now and then it's fairly uh, it's other than that it's a very good sleep and you just wake up feeling extremely refreshed Although your bodies do ache um, from here and there, from the the uh, the fighting that you guys have endured over the past few days, um, Satoshi would have prepared a breakfast for you all. It is just a. You see them <laughs> when you guys make your way down to the um, to the common room. You would have seen them just putting away their fishing uh, rod. Uh, on the, on a, uh, in one of the, um, somewhere in, in, in on one of the, uh, the crates in the kitchen as they start, um, just cut, uh, cutting up some fish that they had caught, um, and just start making just some very simple sushi rolls for you all. And then, um, brings you all just a platter to have for, for your breakfast. Yeah, if is any you guys want to do a breakfast or I don't normally eat, but I wanna try one of these and I, I take a, a little like sashimi or something. Mm -hmm. It is very fresh and it is For like what it is, it's very like like it's not um Satoshi doesn't need to do much to prepare for it, but it's um it's a strange sensation, you will say. Like being a forge in general, it's it's a strange thing. Like it's like it's for the for the most normal of people. Like sometimes eating sushi and raw fish is weird, um, and so it is a very an even more strange sensation for you. You do feel some of your uh, the plant roots in you recoil from uh, the sensation, but like generally, it feels very uh, nutrition uh, nutritious and filling. And just light as well. Like you feel, you feel it's it like ill. This will, this will, this will do you nicely. Um, I feel like this will do me nicely. Okay, don't get slick with me now, boy. <laughs> 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 All right, you know what? No, 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 no. It's very good. Mm, mm. That's what I thought. So Toshi will say, "I oh, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you. I'm glad you think it'll do you nicely." I. <laughs> It's not often I get to make uh, sushi. It's the first time I'm trying them. It's they're they're kind of cool. I think I still prefer plant-based things, but <laughs> well, I mean, like hard to try. I mean, like we, I, I have, I have some seaweed that, like, I was able to like get. If you want some of that. Oh yeah, I'd love some. They come in with they they go back to rush off to the kitchen and bring back a pay. Uh, Bring back a plate of uh, of seaweed for you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, anything else you guys want to do at breakfast before you guys prepare to head off? Uh, what's your favorite thing to prepare for breakfast? Me? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I there's this thing that we would make whenever I used to uh, when um, that I learned from this one um, Halagis uh, breakfast. Uh, uh, place there was um it was like a mix of scrambled eggs fried tomatoes with bacon and sausages and you'd have like it as a sandwich it was and like on a bed of spinach it was very nice would you be able to make me one of those i mean i, I could I'd, like, I'd, we should have some some bacon um yeah uh give me a second i say rush away and gotta make make that Hello, Nico. I also just would like to say, I, I'm sorry I haven't asked you how you're how you're doing yet. 
I, I just am admittedly a little frightened of you still. Oh. You hear Yuki's voice uh, low in your head, as he should be. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Mr. Randall. Um, I, I understand. Um, a lot happened. Um, for all of us. And I, I understand. Don't worry. Uh, it's okay. And I, I'm okay. <laughs> you sure you're doing all right? Uh, yes. <laughs> feel like I know that tone, and <laughs> you wear it well, Oniko. <laughs> <laughs> and he backs up. Just, I'll give you your space. You hear the sound of sizzling when you step back. By the way, from the from the uh, furnace here, as you can see, a uh, a pa- uh, a little frying pan has been put in with some uh, tomatoes, bacon, and sausages. You just see like Randall's nose twitching like crazy. Like, oh, this is gonna be good. Let's give it a. Uh, it will probably be done in about ten minutes, as um, you guys can like see through the ceiling. Um, What's it called? Uh, the um, skylight. Sky. That's not. Thank you. Um, you can see the morning sun rising. It's around eight nine uh, a.m. as uh, and it's a bit cloudy and like it's you're seeing a bit of uh, speckles of grey uh, in the clouds. But other than that, it's a nice autumn morning. Also, Satoshi, can you make mom vegetarian, please? I would appreciate mm-hmm. that. Thank you. You you okay with eggs? Uh, I would prefer no egg. Uh, I guess tomato then. I'm eating. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. We got some tofu, I think, as well. Tofu works. I love Perfect. tofu. Great. Thank you. <laughs> or substitute egg. <laughs> as, um, yeah, like, as, like, you <laughs> ask Satoshi for the breakfast, a few more minutes pass and they bring in a plate or uh, a platter of uh, a vegetarian spread for breakfast that is very looks like a full halagis uh, breakfast um, but obviously instead of the meat uh, there is just vegetarian choices that I you can't said think of the top of my head you said there'd be bacon in this no that's not yours give me a minute please okay <laughs> as they, they rush as like they go down to the furnace on this side and then start playing up your so- your stuff and then bring it here you are and Thank then they you. just slump into the the sofa everything requires delicious meat and i just like pr- i pretty much just shove the entire plate in my mouth just like letting it <laughs> fall off into my mouth did you have anything to eat this. yourself satoshi mm-hmm. I, I i made something before i before, before I thank you guys. Okay. What did what did Low want, by the way? I I feel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, she probably would just eat in the sushi with Low for the way. Not to worry. But yeah, if nothing else, you guys want to do at breakfast? Um. Uh, there's, there's, oh, there's something on that. Um. Uh, Captain Satoshi. Um. Mm-hmm. I, Sorry to, to bother you, um, but no, no I was just wondering, is there an empty sketchbook I could have somewhere on the ship? Hmm. Hmm. I do believe. If you. not, don't no, worry. No, 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 there should be. There should be. Um, Mr. Sayer did. Uh, he did. He did enjoy his arts and crafts. I mean, I don't know if you remember this room before we, before before we we said it for you guys. Uh, this would be where he would do some of his painting. Um, as you just see them start rummaging through the bookcases, and I can't turn them around right now, but I'm, I'm doing my darndest. <laughs> and they just start like searching. And it doesn't take him doesn't take them long, but they do pull uh, out a sketchbook, and on the cover is um, it's a very simple uh, black uh, sketchbook with very fine grade paper. Um, Will this do? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm sure it's perfect. Thank you. Perfect. You, I hope you enjoy your sketching. And then they go back to slumping on the sofa. Um, 
Wait, is that everything you guys want to do? Mm. Oh, thank you, Mushmoon, for the raid. Thank you so much. As uh, actually, I will say, when you open the sketchbook on the inside of um, of the cover, you see four little uh, mushroom stickers surrounding <laughs> a little moon. Mushroom is such a nice name. I just right. want to say. Aha. Yeah. Anything else? Um, if there's nothing else, um, Satoshi would have then started getting you guys to go out, and then you'd hear the red Laco stop humming. Like there, there's like this very ambient hum throughout the airship when you guys were like in it. But like as soon as you guys will step out, and then Satoshi comes out, you see you hear this hum just stop. And uh, low, you see that red spirit. Uh, that like uh, of that uh, the four winged uh, crane that surrounds the the airship. Um, it still lingers, but you see it just kind of going to a roosting position, and then just like as it pulls in its legs, you see Satoshi then just flicking a few switches underneath the ship, and you can see it just start folding in on itself and becoming a tiny little origami boat. <laughs> and they place it in. Uh, Inside their um, inside their uh, their jacket. I have okay. seen a lot of crazy things on my seafaring days, but never have I seen something like that. The That's origami corp. Captain Satoshi. Thank you. Uh, the origami corp uh, found, were founded by Mr. Sayer actually. They and this is one of his little special things he likes to do. I should like to be able to. Mimic such an ability one day. Maybe we'll uh, we'll 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 go to the Origami Corp headquarters one day. I would much okay. like to do that. I'm trying to like add a note for myself there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah. Is there anything you? Oh wait, no. Sorry. Was there any? Did you guys know where you wanted to head? As uh, you guys are just standing on the beach. And Satoshi's just watching you guys, waiting for you guys to uh, take the lead. Lo's gonna probably look at the, <laughs> the forest. <laughs> um, and, um, uh, if we don't have any other direction, um, there's... Uh, I heard something before uh, my spirit was summoned to the other world. And there's a spirit of the forest called Old Altani who wants to eat me, apparently. Um, so I suppose if we could go in that direction, that, that would be good. I think. That's as good as heading as any that we have right now. I mean, we have to eventually talk to some people who might know a bit how things work in Kasakawa. So, and getting away from the factory for seems like it's a better idea for now than than whatever chaos has been ensued by, you know. So, yeah. I don't know what old Otani wants, but um, I don't think it's bad. Hmm. Sure, then let's, let's try that. Whatever it is, we'll face it together. Um, could you guys give me your marching order? And Satoshi will go where you want them to go. Regarding marching order. Randall's in the back. I can hang towards the front unless someone wants to lead, specifically. Um, I actually would prefer the middle. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Satoshi. Um, what? I'll go in the middle-ish. Can Satoshi leak? Because Rocky actually doesn't know where he's going. No worries. Uh, you do see Satoshi just pull out this <laughs> huge paper map. Oh, I haven't gone manual in ages. Um, okay. You just see it folded down. Okay, this is the island. I don't think we don't... doesn't look like this many roads. To be fair, this isn't a land map. This is a air map. Um, okay. Map? How That's, is the air map going to help? 
No, exactly. Like that's <laughs> like I'm saying. There's no roads. But like, well, we'll find. We'll find something. Surely. It's gotta be. I road. mean, if it's an air you can just follow the air trails, right? Hmm. Yeah, but that's towards the airports. Not to worry. Well, uh, on these I suppose we could head to our tiny village. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. We'll just we'll take the straightest path that we can. Like just pulls out a compass. We just, just I guess if we head west, we'll hit it eventually. And if not, we'll hit a river, and then maybe then we've gone too a bit too far, but that's fine. But then we can just look around them. Yeah, then westwards. Mm-hmm. West it okay. is. Come. Okay. As <laughs> they take the lead, and you see their hair go from a very calm, uh, just like wave, uh, just wave formation that like starts turning into a more. Um, not aggressive, but like there is the waves are a lot more deep, and they just sway over it, uh, over their hair, creating a very majestic look as they start flowing downwards, and uh, they just start very proudly walking as their scarf tr- um, billows in the back uh, behind them, and they just start uh, striding across the sands of the beach. Um, and you know when like there's like the beach reaches like land and like there's like a, it's like an incline and like it becomes grass. Um, that's what is that that's um like the, like that's essentially the edge of the beach and like it's um when you get onto the grassy the grassy plains it's a bit more um the gr- the grass is like greeny uh browns and yellows as you get the smell of peaches waft over through you uh, waft over as just cold autumn winds uh, breeze uh, on from the west and every now and then you hear just the faintest sound of ravens cawing from um from the forest, as you can see, just the odd bird fly over as like hours pass um, as you get closer. And like you, you do take a few stops every now and then because you guys aren't like, unless you guys are want to walk very fast. But like Satoshi would like given you guys all um, every like every uh, two hours or so, giving you uh, give you uh, guys time to just um, uh, rest and sit down and just take in the. Uh, the islands uh, the countryside um yuki uh, would have stayed inside your mind temple uh Lonika, but you do every now and then just hear them humming in your head uh, happily away and we're gonna we're gonna change the music uh well not the music sorry the from the coast to a to this And we're gonna then do. Is anyone getting a little bit of deja vu, or I don't know what you'd call it, but I had a weird dream last night. Oh, I don't sleep. Oh right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought no, that up. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no. no it's okay. <laughs> <Ask. laughs> I, I what are? I oh, there was a time. No. No. So <laughs> what you said, you had a weird. What are? How? What was it about? I. All I remember, honestly, is dreams are very weird. You, I, since you don't have them, you don't really understand. But like, it, I all I can really remember is ravens flying like mad and. Yeah. Uh, and I remember uh, too. You had the I, same dream. I had the same dream. I also had that dream, and when I was in my mind temple, there were a lot of ravens, and they were all telling me to go see old Otani. Yeah. I, I didn't heard the have name. a dream. Things are starting to click now. But there was a one time when I was, like, thinking about all things, and th- I thought about, like, when... I ate the spirit yokai thing, and I, I, I thought I, I'd never do that ever again. I don't know how to take that, I'll be honest. What? <laughs> you thought of all things, and then you thought of not to eat a yokai? Yeah, no, it's just... Your dream doesn't make any more sense. But you... you if Yours wasn't a dream, you were just thinking of all things. I don't know... Am I allowed to not think? Thank you. Okay, I'm so sorry, little fat boy. I, I was just a little confused. I took my frustration, my confusion, I and I, I turned it okay, into I frustration. I'm so that's sorry. What I, was gonna, that's, I was daydreaming. Okay. Uh, I was okay. Daydreaming. Okay. 
You uh, guys not dream, I daydream. Right, we also daydream. I see you. Anyway, so uh, crows and we got a, some guy was calling to us. As you um, mentioned Satoshi, the crows. Lead. Oh yeah, Satoshi's <laughs> leading, sorry. Please. <laughs> As Satoshi's leading, you see, by the way, I will also want to know, if someone wants to start getting uh, a map so they could get their cartography XP, you uh, might need to uh, draw a map for this one. Um, I should have mentioned at the beginning of the stream, sorry. Is that a one-person thing, or...? One per yeah, ideally one person will be doing, but if you guys want to like, share the, the role, we can split the XP. Um, but, like, I don't want to split no XP. <laughs> oh, yeah, make the map be fine. fine. Yeah, you can, you can try that. <laughs> I'm busy daydreaming anyways. As you are I'll daydreaming do, and, and discussing daydreams and dreams, you see, you get closer to the forest and you, the smell of peaches and just uh, forest and just decaying leaves um, start taking over your senses. As you hear the, the odd crunch under your footsteps uh, as you step on uh, some of the leaves that have fallen, as you uh, make your way into... Otani Forest, as you can see, um, just a canopy of oranges and purple and like pinks and oranges and reds and yellow trees, um, just all over the place. As you um, that'll create a very thick covering above. Um, as you step in, uh, step into the forest. Um, where is my notes? Give me a second. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the smell of flowers and peaches just is a lot more distinct in here. It's like you, you guys know, um, or most of you know, except everyone but like uh, Rocky would know that. Um, oh, okay. That like peaches generally, like autumn peaches, are the blossoms of autumn. That's like that's when they're in season, and uh, that's most of these trees you can see are have peaches on, and you like it's like autumn is now in full swing. Um, as you can hear in the idea in the what sorry carry on carry on no no carry on. as you can also hear just a river uh, flowing up ahead um, just is that what that rumbling is no that's or am a, I hearing something else that might be just like this is the let me do this actually can I grab a peach while you do that yeah yeah sure yeah there's some rumblies that are scaring me. Sorry, that that may just be a storm cloud over overhead. Oh, you, lovely. Is it really dark in this forest? <laughs> it is, but not as dark as it should be. Cause I'm, I'm just not sure how like daylight dynamic lighting works. Is this bright enough for you to see uh, a bit better? Acceptable. Yes. Acceptable. As what? Uh, no, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying, man. Shut up, Sam. <laughs> I'll fight you. Um, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to uh, make your way forward, you guys can move. Huh. Satoshi, lead the way, please. What's that? What's what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tree. <laughs> no, no, there. You can. See. Where are you pointing? Wait. <laughs> I am being quiet. You're the loud one. Oh, I am just gonna just put something goodness. on the stream before oh you guys God, continue. There's a peaches. Where are we looking? There are peaches. peaches. Right there, on the left. that thing. This thing. Oh. I can. You want to? You want to ping where you? To say something. <laughs> it's As everywhere. I'm eating okay. wood. <laughs> I've taken three <laughs> bites of one peach. Get your own peach. turns and grabs a peach. As you guys are arguing about peaches, and like Lo-Fi Boy and Loniko, I think are panicking as they can see. You see a like you guys can just see like over here is a small little Bakoran person with. Wearing um, give me a second as I pop them on screen for you guys. Wearing um, a very simple work worker clothes and a shawl, or you can just see just a glint of a, a tealy blue shawl and uh, a headscarf uh, with um, that like just places itself over blonde wild hair, 
um, you can see this uh, little Bokoran uh, person. How uh, how is this uh, Bokoran person reacting, Lucy, uh, when they see what they see coming towards them? Oh God! 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 I'm not prepared for this. I'm not prepared for this. I As you guys can hear that coming I I from over here. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, my boy, that's uh, not a yokai. That's 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 a no, person. I what? grab another. I grab another peach. Oh God! Guys, I got, oh. I got this. Guys, I got this. I can't sing as far as you, oh my boy. You need to be more specific. I, I want to start, guys. Okay. Oh my god! Give me a second. Oh shoot! That's a yokai. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! My boy Rocky I missed, is. I missed it before. <laughs> I thought I just saw. Never just mind. Like, just the one. Maybe the yokai so wants a peach. Maybe he'll be happy. So what was oh, we? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> As you can hear them saying, oh god, oh god, oh god, what would you guys like to do? Uh, I'm gonna give you guys- Can I- <laughs> Wait. I wanna throw a peach in the opposite direction. I wanna throw a peach <laughs> you... in the opposite direction to distract the yokai. Rocky, roll Why me a dexterity or ax athletics or slight a hand for me. Monica, what did you wanna do? Hand. Wait, what was that? Do something completely the opposite. Uh, uh, give me, give me, give me. Uh, everyone, slow down for a second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to be fair, I think Discord isn't being helpful today as well. Um, thank you, Lonika. What did you want to do? Do I see Rocky throwing something? You seem about to throw his peach that he's picked up. Uh, I'll, I'll. I'll wait until he's <laughs> <laughs> well, Unlike the now, now on the back of the throw, can I try to slate of hand grab the peach out of his hand? You can. I'm sorry, Jacob. I mean, probably for the best, but I can't let you do this to this. To this Randall peach. just really wants that peach so bad. <laughs> you take the own. peach. It is a You're fresh, crisp peach. Randall, I was for the break, dude. Okay. okay. Lower the peaches. What would you like? Alright, right, guys, guys, guys. Peaches guys, guys. everywhere. Okay, oh. you, slow down with your peaches for a second. Lower, what did you want to do? She's just going to go in front and she's just going to, like, jump and wave her arms and be like, hey! Pony! <laughs> Roll. Roll, <here. laughs> Roll charisma. <laughs> As a Polly, you see. Uh, this group try to throw a peach and then um, this little girl jump in trying to shout at the, the yoga, this giant spiky die. creature. Um, I, I should describe what it looks like actually. You see like what it, you see is just just giant hulking beast of a creature with a giant distorted twisted head that is shaped like a, a, a star that is just um, Looks almost like red lacquered wood. You, you being someone who who's worked around um, trees, uh, I, can't, I can't say what I wanted to say because it's gonna sound dirty. Um, you, you, you being no, no, but carpenter. I was gonna say working around a lot of wood and it sounds dirty. Yeah, I didn't say it. Yeah, no, but like that's just so I got to give you the context now. But yeah, you see this giant. Like it looks like it's made of just lacquered wood, uh, and you can see all its eyes. These eyes shaped like targets uh, just jitter and jibber and just scan and search and just focus in on you some of them like are just pinpointed on you some of you are scanning the entire area around you as you see like just walking towards you with this giant club in its arm and you can see this behind it is like this halo uh, that's like just been sliced out and just distorted and warped uh with pieces missing from it and just with a belt uh, with shide lightning bolt um uh, paper uh, s uh, stripes um, just swaying as it just walks towards you in a very staticky, slow but also fast, um, strange um, sequence of movements. Um, it turns from you as uh, it hears Lonico calling for it. And you just hear it gibber and shriek at you. Ooh. 
I don't like that at all. <laughs> Terrifying. We will not be going into <laughs> initiative. Boy. <laughs> Lo, you have the floor. It's popcorn in the ship, so you'll be passing it to each other. But Lo, you have the floor. I'm going to change the music. Because this isn't... It's a bit too chill for what we want. <laughs> it's really just, chill. A smidge, just a smidge chill. It, it's the last... We're like, for half a second, we're still just smelling the peaches yeah, before... Oh. And why do I hear cicadas like crazy? You're in the forest. <laughs> Okay, it's nice. <laughs> Let's roll twenty. Goodness, Sam. Like, my voice sounds like yeah, like it's. Where's my Where's my yoga music? Sorry, guys. Oh, I get it. Bow, 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 bow. Something they mean something. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, here you are, Loniko. You are first in initiative. What would you like to do? Where am I supposed to be throwing the map? By the way. Sorry, uh, it's it's just like your that. personal, like, so like, this is so that you guys know where you guys are traveling. So if you want to share your screen, or like, if you guys want to like, just pop it, pop it in general or out of context on voice texture. That's for you guys. Just so you guys know what you're looking at. Also, chat layer actions and channel point redemptions are available if you guys want to help or hinder the party. Oh. <laughs> help, help us. Help. Every help. single peach turns into a yokai. Can we do a... <laughs> Just an idea. <laughs> He's gonna take a reward. <laughs> Thank you for that one. Hey. He only wants to take my peaches. <laughs> Why? They're not peaches, not they're peaches. eggs. Yeah. What would you no. want to do, Lo? <laughs> uh, it's looking at me, right? It is focused on you. Great. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep, uh, like, Jumping and waving at it, and uh, kind of <laughs> move back a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and before I move back behind everyone, I'm going to send a firebolt. Go ahead. <laughs> that misses. As you see, the yokai just pull up their iron club and just swat it out of the air. And just feel like, um, uh, miss, uh, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. And then she. <laughs> you see one eye follow Loniko's voice and trail to you, Polly, and just look down at you. No, no, over here, over here. The eye darts back to you, Lo. <laughs> over here, please. Um, <laughs> she's going to uh, give Rocky a bardic inspiration and pass the initiative to Rocky. <laughs> awesome. All right, so I'm gonna run up to it. Uh, how far away is it from me? I'm gonna, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna use 30 feet of movement. Mm -hmm. um, um, am I am I close enough to reach? I can't. No, if you unless you've got like 10 feet, you're just out of range. Um, am I able to? Am I able to move? Like if I ran, am I able to? I forget how that works. If it that's takes a dash action. Part of my, yeah, yeah. So that would. Um, I I'll run up. I guess I'll use my I'll use a dash action to run up, um, mm -hmm. just to get right up in its face. And then, am I still able to use my bonus attack? Yes, because I think okay. dash is an action. Okay, but I can use my bonus. Still? Yeah, you can use your bonus. Uh, still, yeah, but you can okay, use an action, okay. bonus action, and a free action. Oh, oh, so, so my dash action doesn't get in way of any of my other actions. Yes, yeah, on like that's your main action. So like you cut, you have bonus action free and your free action available. Free action. I'm not positive what that means. That's just like if you want to touch something or like interact with stuff. Oh, oh okay. That's well, like uh, then I'll do my bonus action and then I want to do in my my extra attack if I can. Go ahead. Okay, I'll start with my bonus uh, bonus attack. Uh, Twenty to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is 15. 15. Yep. Um, and then for my next, um, this is my, my, my second attack, um, mm -hmm. for my actual attack. That is uh, 22 to hit. Um, 22. I'm assuming that hits now. 11 damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, look, Rocky, I, could, I mean, Randall, could you roll me a D hundred, please? 
11. Boy, howdy. Yeah, thank you. Uh, continue. Oh, oh, for that. Okay. Um, and then now I want to use my action surge and go ahead and just attack again. Mm-hmm. Um, that is 19 to hit. Uh, I, is that hit? Uh, give me a second. The roll of oh, 15, sorry. That 19 hits as well, yeah? Um, so for my bardic inspiration, I don't need to use it for anything right now, right? I can't use, I can only use it to help when I'm trying to hit, right, for an ability check? Uh, you can use it, yeah, when you're trying to hit something or do a save thing throw or an ability check. Then I'll save it. And then I do uh, nine more damage. That's a total of 35 damage that round. Mm -hmm. um, and then for my free action, I flip it off. <laughs> and then I pass it over to... Uh, I want to pass it over to... Rocky doesn't know her name. This character's yeah, name... This, yeah, yeah, Paul, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, nice. uh, I pass it over to Polly and I was like, Go! Get or get Lee, I don't know, do something. <laughs> get. <laughs> get, get, get. <laughs> um when when uh Polly you see just this samurai made of stone just dash in with a jacket, like a long jacket, like like billows in the wind as they just come in with three clean slashes cleaving at the uh the giant yokai. It shrieks and when it like just like you see its mouths like it has mouths all over its body you just open up and just shriek in various directions uh each one is distorted and just like that of a wild animal that like just can't be pinpointed and it just focuses all this tension moving it from low nico to you uh, low uh rocky as it's trying to like just um take in all your attacks with your 15 uh, on your dragon surge that a high demi had redeemed, you, uh, Randall, uh, could you roll me a d20 as well? You got it, Chief. 14. 14. You feel just a wealth of magic around you, just pulling off the trees and the grass and you just feel it just fill your body with uh magic does randall have any magic of his own that, that looks the not... cards are aggressive i'm gonna they are, that's what i'm saying they're scarily aggressive yeah no you're right yeah let's try this one so, yeah. uh randall randall's magic uh comes from his tattoos if anything uh, no I mean, I mean does he have any like magic spells or anything i don't think he has any spells no all right, let me just quickly check and look all and see what I can give this to instead. You do not, so not to worry. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you a free extra gem flight with that. You feel your the magic um, solidify in your back uh, where your wings are or like where like your wings sprout from. And you feel yourself just given like an extra bit of energy to push off to create extra wings. So now you have a free uh, wing um, or a free extra wing. Awesome. Um, and as Thanks. like that magic is <laughs> you see uh, a little tiny mercury like um, colored liquid like spirit uh, just push off uh, from the magic that like swirls around you and fly towards you lo-fi boy gifting you a chat inspiration <clears throat> thank you frankie for the chat inspiration polly is now your turn what would you like to do you can uh... move, you can move you can attack you can use your bonus action okay um I'm going to uh, do as Rocky said and um, get on mm. out of here probably as fast as I can uh, run out of the way maybe uh, sort of behind Rocky. How Do I just grab them? And... Yeah, you can just grab them and move them where you want them. Uh, how do you measure distance? You, uh, every like tile is five uh, feet. So and uh, um, there's like a little ruler on the side, um, underneath the magnifying right. glass, and you can like click on your token and move like that. Or even if you click your token and right click, you can measure like that. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm gonna run back over here, I think. And as I run past, I'm gonna scream um, uh, uh, at at Rocky. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Rockman. Thank you, Mr. Rockman. Thank you, Mr. Rockman. As I <laughs> come to cower by these bushes over here. Mm -hmm. 
Let me see. Uh, can I... Does anyone not have any kind of bardic inspiration yet? Everyone but Rocky has uh, doesn't have bardic inspiration. So only Rocky has yeah, bardic inspiration. Yeah, that I, should, I don't know why I say it. <laughs> I don't know why I do. I, I have a habit of going the most long-winded way of describing things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, take out my kalimba and like very shakily like play like it's not a, a very good sounding song um, gonna play a little play a little tune to give um, bardic inspiration to uh, Randall if thank you if your magic were to take a solid form what how would you describe what it looks like uh, it looks like glitter very mm. shiny um, silvery glitter your glitter flies towards Randall and just swirls around as, along with that uh, vortex of magic that swirls around you, Randall. And now you feel uh, Polly's uh, Bardic Inspiration gifted to you. Uh, who would you like to pass in uh, your, uh, the combat to? Uh, uh, Lonico has had a turn, that, yeah. Polly has had a turn, and uh, Rocky has had their turn. Okay, so we'll, we'll pass it to Randall then. Mm-hmm. And I'll, like, just reluctantly charges forward 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, unable to really make it up all the way. Let me come for my peaches again, Randall. Get out of here. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure to collect all of your peaches by the time this battle's over. I swear, Randall. <laughs> but, well, but, but before then, keep striking true Rocky, and that'll give yeah, you advantage you too, on your next attack. And, uh, and look, fly boy, get in here. And I'll pass my turn to Lo-Fi Boy. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. okay. I'm, gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna walk uh, around uh, and like say, like, Satoshi, you have to wait a bit. Um, and, then, and then go all the way here. Because uh, I, I can. Okay, guys, I, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, you... Uh, uh, let's just see what I got here first. Uh, what's the situation? All right. Uh, okay, so I'm just uh, feeling my weapon, seeing what kind of shape ah, yeah. it's gonna take. Uh, oh, oh, a trident again. Um, well, standing uh, around is happening. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. What's oh, gonna be? What's gonna be? Okay, you also okay, have inspiration. Okay, it's like a roulette. <laughs> So basically, my umbrella, like, um, as I'm like uh, fumbling, like, uh, I kind of like hold on to it, focus, and it turns into a trident. And I decide to uh, enter rage uh, because I'm a bit flustered. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I roll 70? A, a 70, which is. <laughs> well, we all. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a d4, please. Oh my god! Rocky, Randall, and Polly, could you all roll me a deck save, please? Oh, what about the other guy? <laughs> oh, don't worry. <laughs> Don't oh, worry oh, about the other guy. Good job, Polly. Oh, <laughs> I'm not oh, floating, you're floating. Do it. I blew it, I blew it. I'm so sorry, that was supposed to be a save, wasn't it? Yeah. If it's, it doesn't have any addition to it, don't worry about it. If it does, that's fine. You can add Bardic Inspiration to it if you want to. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause like, cause like, it's a so it would be a plus 7, actually, actually, with that. So it would be 13. I will add my Bardic Bardic Inspiration if I can. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, you can. Okay, the, 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 the D6, right? That's all? I believe. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, it's a D6, and you gain. Me... Um, uh, you gain some temporary HP as well. I'm just working yeah. out how much. That's a 16. Um, still not as good as anybody else's, but dear lord. Have mercy on me, ODM. Uh, 7 temp HP, Randall, you get. I remember the DC, right, Kaz? 
I do, I do. You okay, all... Okay, I'll, I'll let you, yeah. Oh, I see we did. So, you just, as soon as, like, Lo-Fi Boy gets in, you see his trident just, like, spinning like a roulette. Well, not spinning like a roulette wheel. You see it shifting its form constantly as it, magic is surging off of him. Similar to, like, how the magic was swirling around you, Randall. And then it just, like, bursts off of him. And you feel your body, Polly, Randall, Rocky, and the Oni get just surrounded by this magic. And then you just hear the world tear open as you all feel your bodies try to get pulled in but to lo-fi boy but you're fine nothing happens but you do see the only get pulled in and give me a second and they travel and they teleport <laughs> can i lose yeah. just peering around <laughs> As you just tear the world open, uh, you see it tear in front of you, uh, Loniko. As you see the Oni just appear from in front of Rocky, pull itself through, and then just oh. just tower over you and Satoshi. And Satoshi, oh no. <laughs> Satoshi oh, no, just... fight, boy. <laughs> no fight, what's what, what you doing here? <laughs> Since I, I, I did the thing, uh, mm -hmm. can I do a similar thing as the Oni just did? You can. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Uh, like, I like, just kind of like fall backwards into the world. <laughs> you just see, you hear the same uh, sound as the world tears open. As, is it random or do you get to pick? I know what it says there. Oh. I'm gonna say it's random. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'll, I'll let you pick. Within 30 feet, you get to pick where you want to teleport. Okay, okay. Uh, then I teleport um, right next to Satoshi. <laughs> As you um, see, Lofi just pull himself through the same portal. Like, hi, Satoshi again. I, I told you I'd be here. <laughs> Good just a moment. Uh, yeah, um, sorry about that. And um, as I'm like talking to Satoshi, I'm like trying to poke the Oni with the China. Go ahead, roll to attack. <laughs> oh man, Dungeons is raiding with a party of Goodness. sixteen. Hell, <laughs> thank you for the raid, Dutch Dungeons. Oh shit, yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the beaches. Beautiful. What? Yeah, no, yeah. As a oh, beach joke. I think the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Thank you oh for the follow, gosh. King Noob Six. Uh, for the follow, I assume it's King Noob Six. If it isn't, I'm very sorry. Hello, Raiders. Welcome to the Vibe Inn. We're streaming Throne Top Sands. They're fighting an Oni right now. As a uh, lo-fi boy has teleported through the world weave, getting in that 20 on the trident. Roll your damage, please. As when you tear through the world weave, you feel your body get uh, pushed, not pushed by, but you um, you push yourself off the tree that you're nearby and causing Oops. 16 peaches to fall from <clears throat> the tree, just smacking into the top of the Oni's head. As uh, when you, as, as you also step into it, you see the only getting just bludgeoned by this rain of peaches uh these 16 peaches and your trident wound Meepo forever plus two thank you it does it, i think it already does it it does does it not i i have forgotten to check no, 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 i just checked it afterwards yeah sorry no just thank you you're a star anything else you'd like to do my boy uh, if I can do an extra attack, I'd, I'd go at it again. Thank you for the follow, Skyak. Uh, if, you, if you have extra attack, you can. I will, Me I will. Uh, so, so, I, oh right, I have to roll again the thing. Uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, um, oh, oh, this time, can I go two-handed instead of one-handed? I mean, you roll two-handed on that one. Oh. Okay, that was random. <laughs> I didn't look. <laughs> that still like... hits. Roll damage. <laughs> okay. And you see this aura just surging off of Lo-Fi Boy as they... So, There's... so Satoshi... Yeah. Uh, Go on. Um, um, and, and, and I'm like, 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 hitting it with the trident twice, um, with the help of the peaches. 
Um, uh, you're gonna have to wait a bit longer. Uh, and I, I give my the popcorn to the only. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, thank you for the follow uh, Sky Guy D and D and also Skya. Um, the Oni is going to with its great club is going to swing at you, Lo Fi Boy. Okay. Getting eleven does eleven hit? No. And then completely missing with their great club, they slam their um, they slam into the tree and then just throw their body at you. Does a nineteen hit? Is your shield down, by the way? I... Oh, uh, silvery yeah, barbs. Shield is down because. I'm... <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you describe your silvery barbs. Um, I feel like um, just seeing it, like the bells on her mask would like jingle, um, and like little little barred sparkles come off it and just go around in the Oni's face. <laughs> mm. Um. The yokai is going to just <laughs> jitter in just sudden panic, hearing us, hearing the bells jingle and um, and it, like it recoils from the sound, um, but is still just in this enraged state, if you will, and just throws himself at Lofi Boy with their body. You only take half because of that, but could you roll me a D, uh, constitution saving throw, please? Yes, I will. Because you are raised, you only take half, you get six, as it just like lunge, uh, throws itself into you. You can have advantage on that, if you oh. want to. Would you like advantage uh, there? <laughs> I, um, no, <laughs> I'll be okay, I think. Oh, I think it's just advantage on the next one you do, Notoric. I think. You succeed, so you're all good? Um, so yeah, you, you, nothing happens. You just feel his body just get thrown into you. And it passes his turn to Satoshi. And Satoshi's like, my training has come. <laughs> <laughs> my time. I've I've only been preparing for one day, but I'm ready. As, <laughs> as a <laughs> unarmed strike. <laughs> 20. I thought he missed. I did oh, too. <laughs> I like wish he did. It on like a like a low number there for sure. I know. They get they just punch in to the yokai's body. Um, you see where Satoshi's watery um, or his his fist is. You see um, his hair erupt into a tidal wave of um, furious uh, waters, and the odd storm here and there. And you see the proudest expression on their face, as you can see, just the faintest of dents in the uh, the uh, the the wooden armor skin of the Oni. They are going to end the turn. Do a little clap. <laughs> you can. They turn to you and they smile and are very happy with themselves. When uh, when you, I haven't had them on screen this entire time, so I'm going to just do this. They, yeah, they're very happy with themselves. And th thank you, Loniko. And pass their uh, turn to you. So now back to the start oh. of the initiative turn. Lo, you are you are at the front. Okay. Um. <laughs> Hello, uh, Oni. Um, let's do burning hands. <laughs> Just go ahead. Hands here. Just not hitting Hello, Fi Boy, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where is it gone? Oh, we got 18. The bitch. Um, <laughs> I've lost it. Where is it? There it is. Um, takes half. Half damage? How much is that? Goodness. That'll do it. Oh, they went to <laughs> half, don't they? So no, never yeah. mind. They're still going. They're, they're still up for a bit more. Uh, they just sh shriek as you see like their, um, their form try to push through the fire as they pull away from Lo-Fi Boy's body. Anything else you want to do, though? Um, I can't use a bonus section spell, so I guess I'm just gonna have to vibe here and give Bardic Inspiration uh, to uh, Lo-Fi Boy. Mm -hmm. Who do you want to pass it to? And I will pass it uh, to Lo-Fi Boy. 
Okay. I'll fight you, Tan. Um, uh, uh, so you guys, like, whenever you want, you just, uh, kind of like when you fall behind from a chair, uh, look, look, and I'll, I'll, do, I'll do that. I'll just fall into the world. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> The other side of the Oni. Mm -hmm. It just like you see its eyes twist uh, through its head, and you can see the one on the back of its head like gain extra eyes as all its eyes focus on you, Lonely uh, Lofi Boy. All the front, all the eyes on the front are now just black husks. All pupils are on the back of it. I hate those descriptions. I hate them. I'm I hate glad them so much. I am aiming like with a chided. I'm making sure that I'm getting like one eye with each little mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I hate it so much. Like roll damage. No. Uh. Stop. <laughs> yeah. No. Like you do. You you proc every single like you proc three of its eyes, and like they square at the uh, the center of each of the target pupils it has, and it just shrieks. Give me a second. As it just gets consumed by fire and just glitches and just burns away into a giant pyre of white fire that swirls around your trident and around you, and you feel just a cold fire like trying to grasp at your uh, your leaves. But you guys are out of combat. Uh, let me see this. Every time. Every time you do those goddamn sound effects, Kaz, it sends a heart pounding fear <laughs> through my through my I don't know. My entire body shakes. It freaks me out. I'm glad. Be but before we do anything else, um oh, when man. you see the um the Oni die, uh or you guys turn to see the Oni die, Rocky Randall, um you guys turn back to like readjust yourselves and just um center yourselves again you guys see these crates uh that have just like uh that have just like come down on the river um and just like have like got themselves stuck on the tree and like um just like slotted themselves in you guys could, could you both roll me a what's the word uh investigation perception investigation or perception yes please Perception or perception. Both of these I am not good at, but uh <laughs> Rocky, your uh, team I, Go on, I don't get advantage on skill checks, just just roll like attack rules with my, my feather. I, I mean I like it's just attack I think it's hold up, let me like oh. double check that, but I, I do think it is it does say an ally and attacking a creature, yeah, so Okay, um, either way, I mean, Rain will be fine. Rocky's on perceptive. He's looking at peaches. Mm -hmm. As you're too busy focusing on those peaches. peaches. Randall, Longer you man. seeing him uh, looking at those peaches, your eyes um, focus in for a second on those craters. You, they look familiar. You recognize them immediately, and you feel just this no. sense of dread fill your entire body. As you can see... Um, just uh, faintly scratched away by stone and chipped away and like you can see it's also like damaged and like opened up in places you can see the faintest like uh, mention are uh, like like in very scratchy words uh you can make it out to mean um the kasakawa um factory and you can see the faintest glint of gold from within this crate and we're gonna end the session there you oh son God. of a bitch what? you what? son of a bitch Okay, but okay. Oh, mm, mm, ah, never you, mind. Well, no, no. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do, Sam? I wanted to run up to Polly and say, "What are you doing with these crates?" That's <laughs> I, I have so, nothing to do so with these demonic. crates. I, 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 I have no, I have no idea what those are or how they got here. I don't even know where I am, man. As you're asking, insight. as us uh, roll insight for me. Um, Oh, you stupid to bitch. Be fair, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the emotions running high right now. Um, You, like, you're too, like, yeah, you're too, pre like, just sudden in, sh in shock from both the fight and then knowing what's inside that crate to, like, even, like, have some form of rational thinking right now. 
as you just rush towards Polly, assuming she has some connection to this, you hear off in the distance in the forest the faintest of glitches oh. coming across from the waters. But yeah, we will be ending the session there. I can't believe this. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> No worries, okay. It's fine. We'll see you guys next week on the 16th of November. Um, we will be having Lucy playing Polly again. Uh, or the 13th, sorry. Um, on Sunday. Um, be, oh, do you want to shout yourself out, uh, Lucy? As Could, I'm going to move hi, this over. Um, I'm my, I go by I'm sorry, Lucille on not on, online. You can call me Lucy. Uh, I stream on Twitch and I have a very super cool podcast. Uh, called We're So Fucking Sorry with Remove Sam and we post a new episode most Sundays and it's it's you can find us on Spotify and also uh, maybe some other places but I don't remember so <laughs> not to worry I have a command for sorry because they also sponsor the stream um the hey. yeah. the next uh, shout we'll go with is McClunky Samuel Howdy, hey. I'm devastated emotionally, but like, <laughs> uh, McClunky Squadron, yeah, hey, we do, over there, we do, like, talk shows about shows right now. Those are kind of winding down a little bit, because we're just talking about Andor on Saturdays, and on Tuesday, check us out, me and Cass are finally doing Token Tuesday, where we finally. go through the Monster Manual and do every single monster alphabetically. We're starting with Aarakocra, so that'll be a blast. Check it out. Oh, yo! 3 p.m. <laughs> PST on McClunky Squadron. Mm -hmm. And it'll be this week, so it'll be Tuesdays. It's right after my streams on Tuesdays, anyway. I'll be ready. Yo, to I want to check that out. Yeah, no, yeah, do, Hell do, yeah, dude. Do come by. Got some Kaz art. Got some Sam art. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a blast. The best of times. Um, Jacob, do you want to shout yourself out? Yeah, uh, I'm Jacob, aka Piper, on Twitch and YouTube. Um, that's Piper with an L, obviously. Who? Why wouldn't that be the first uh, thing and the, to think about? Um, I do variety Twitch streaming. Um, I do a lot of art stuff, though. I like doing random D and D characters and other things that involve making stuff. Uh, I also have a podcast called Just Very Mundane, where I talk about just very mundane things in just very mundane ways with my roommate. Uh, or former roommate now, but uh, hmm. we had not uploaded a vi an episode in a, long, a little bit, but uh, it's, it exists. But if you really want to show my support or show me support, uh, check me out on YouTube and subscribe because my goal is to do 100 uh, subscribers there and also Twitch because I always like to have more people hop in on my Twitch streams. Hey. I did. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, um. Georgia, would you like to? Can I, oh, you want to uh, go? You want to you show yourself out something? Uh, yeah, you, you go like first. To, yeah. to, hello, um, I'm Sam, um, and sometimes I'll be doing art night things, maybe in the future, now that my back is getting finally better. But uh, come vibe in the, dust, in the Discord called, uh, well, art, well, the classes. Anyways, that's where I am, <laughs> or here, and I'm not here anymore because i gotta go uh, everyone you're so cool it was such a nice time and thank you for everything uh in your presence both uh you know everyone here playing with us and chat thank like, you for being here it's always a pleasure and i'm gone ciao bye <laughs> and georgia if you want <laughs> uh, hi i'm georgia or uh lime lime green archer lime green artist um Either, either one of those, any of those. Um, I make jewellery. Um, I have collections based on swords and weapons and uh, started with D&D &D collection. Um, so if any of that kind of jewellery interests you, uh, I'd appreciate you checking that out. Uh, also, I draw stuff sometimes on my art account. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Give Randall a break from trauma. I yeah. this episode a little bit, and then the very last minute, I'm like, like yeah, you, you thought, yeah, you thought you had like one, one easy session, one simple like, session. Oh, the session's going pretty chill. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, with that, uh, I'm Kazadiem. Fucker says gold. <laughs> he, he says it looks sort of familiar, and I immediately was like, oh no, I'm back. <laughs> I'm, I don't even want more of this description. Stop.
<laughs> yeah, with that, I'm Kaza DM. I normally stream art on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I stream D and D throw on top of hands this on Sundays. If you want to catch all the previous sessions, you can find them on YouTube there, or you can check out my art on Instagram or Twitter. Most of the art on stream you see is mine, uh, except for uh, the fan art, obviously, and the. Uh, map assets are on my two minute tabletop uh, and if you want to grab some of my tokens or the homebrew I use in my games you can check out my Kofi. Um, we're going to be raiding into going critical um, going crit RPG um, and we're gonna we're just gonna hit them with a vibe check thank you guys for playing uh, chat smooch to you Jacob thank you for being here uh, thank you guys for watching lurking or hanging out um, yeah uh, see you guys soon. I'm gonna let's put a little breakdown in low. Uh, if you are subbed, you can use this to uh, raid in on. Um, oh, not not laughing. Ermi is. Yeah. Um. Thank you uh, again for being here. I'm gonna just quickly shift a thing. Um, Randall's coming into the next session. Pissed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh no. Um, see you guys. <laughs> Go, people. See you guys soon. Bye. 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 The the barrel. Uh.